Hey everybody, Brent Simmons with Restoration Roofing. So we're out here in Kyerville. We just got done installing some raindrop gutter guards on this house that has newer six inch gutters. Um, but this is actually what came off of the existing gutters in the back. This is a micro mesh that you can buy at big box stores like Home Depot or Lowe's. And I just wanted to, I don't know, use this opportunity to kind of show anybody looking for gutter guards the difference between a store-bought gutter guard and a professional grade gutter guard like Raindrop. Um, now I'm not saying all gutter guards at Home Depot and, and Lowe's or whatever are bad, but this one has a couple major flaws. The biggest of which is it has no strength at all. So the way this mounts, this sits in the front of the gutter and this rests on the back. Over time, as debris builds up on this and roofing granules, you know, nothing can get through this micro mesh, it will start to curl like this. And these don't even come with screws to where you can actually screw them down. So I've seen these where half of it's popped in, half of it's out, and they're just basically creating a bowl to allow debris to build up in them. Because um, as time goes on, they just start to cave in more and more. And I don't, I don't even know what this mesh material is made out of, but if it's not stainless or aluminum, it is going to rust. That's something else we see all the time is you'll have a decent mesh up there, but it's rusting because it's made out of steel. Um, this raindrop getter guard is just a completely different design altogether. You can't go out and buy these in any type of store here locally, but they're so versatile. Um, they go up underneath the shingle as opposed to just sitting on the back side of the gutter like this one. So that gives it strength and rigidity. Um, but they also have these vertical channels here. So you can't flex this. You can't, I mean, it's flexible, um, which actually helps give it more strength, but it won't cave in on, it, on itself. It will retain its strength during the full 20 years uh, of the warranty on this. This also comes with a 20 year warranty no warranty on something you do yourself. So as far as price point, these are obviously going to be a lot more expensive than something you buy at the store. But the major difference is you're gonna have a, a company, a, a professional actually install these versus you going up and down on a ladder and putting these in yourself. Gutter guards are pretty easy to install, but it's still pretty dangerous. Um, you're on a lot of different terrains, and even when I was back here doing this one, I noticed the footing wasn't always the best in certain areas. So. I just wanted to, you know, kind of show you the difference. It's, it's not very often that I have, you know, some, uh, some relics to shoot videos on, but these, in my opinion, are a waste of money. Spend a little more, have it done right, and you're not gonna have to worry about it anymore. Thank you for watching.